Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Detroit, Michigan's Temple of Void, Lords of Death. Absolutely crushing, heavy as fuck, awesome death metal. Love it. Just such a goddamn good release right here. Killer sophomore album as well. Temple of Void, get into it on Hell's Headbangers and Shadow Kingdom Records. Fuck yeah. And today, I want to talk about one of my favorite U.S. death metal bands. And first things fucking last, this band is not an NS band. As people have been saying and arguing about since the 90s. All due to some stupid teenage bullshit because this band is full of teenagers at the time. And uh, yeah, I am talking about fucking Infester to the depths in degradation and the cassette version on Head Split LP through Martyr Doom. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I never thought I would own this, period, let alone on cassette as well as vinyl. Now, when it comes to the NS shit, I think it all stems to some, uh, like, weird promo photo that was in their CD that is not here at all anywhere. So I don't even know what they're talking about because I've never seen this uh, so-called photograph with um, a duct tape swastika or something and I don't care but it says right here uh, lastly unlike what someone speculated Infester was never a racist or NS band as most we didn't take some of our lyrics and imagery too seriously and it showed our immaturity I hope the focus will stay on the music as I am very proud of the atmosphere we achieved, we achieved with the songs on In the Depths to Degradation and it's an honor to see how it's continued to receive recognition so many years after its release. And that's signed by Dario who currently drums in fucking Drawn and Quartered Crom Ritual Chamber, and he also used to be in a Vulcan as well. So, yeah, don't believe everything you fucking read and hear. Infestors 1994 release here to the depths in degradation. Seriously, fucking wow! Like atmospheric death metal. What? Like, yeah. Seriously, this is so fucking sick in every single aspect from the actual completely inhuman vocals to just some of the most eerie riffs ever and just dude the vocal delivery on here is just in fucking human like it seriously sounds like a monster is on the microphone. It's ridiculous, seriously. It's just straight up one of the heaviest, dirty sounding, evil, raw death metal releases of the 90s. Like, they didn't want to sound like everybody else sounded in this time period. They wanted an organic feel to this album and Holy fuck did they achieve it with To The Depths and Degradation. Because this is something that, you know, a lot of bands try but fail at. And that is to add a type of atmosphere that, you know, is unsettling. But at the same time is like, yo, that's fucking awesome. Infester do it so fucking good and it has to do a lot with just the keyboard use on here again it's one of those releases where thankfully the keyboards are sparse and when they do use the keyboards oh my fucking 
fuck. <laughs> it's just awesome. Seriously. It's like Chamber of Reunion. Just listen to that song by Infester if you're going to check out this album. And just, it goes from like black metal to death metal to just this fucking like dungeon synth part and then just straight back to just some gore soaked filthy fucking evil death metal and this is on plain black like I said through Martyr Doom Productions uh, this is MD005 Martyr Doom is a Dead Congregations label, I'm pretty sure, based out of Spain. I snagged this for 20 bucks spin. I know a couple US distros have this right now. And the cassette I snagged from Head Split Records. This is going to sell out. I'm just giving you a heads up. This is well. I would get on this ASAP. Unless you want to pay import prices. like. I haven't seen this in the States until recently on vinyl. So, yeah, seriously, I know Dark Descent has this, and I know 20 bucks spin does as well. It's so fucking good. It's totally, totally, probably one of the most underrated fucking death metal gems in the US death metal scene's history. Like, seriously, it's so fucking good. I, I can't get over it like a lot of evil raw sounding death metal crawl out of the crypts here stateside but this was like a massive fuck you to more sound studio sadly like they were kind of I, I know Scott Burns was I don't even know if Burns was still producing albums during this time period but you know without more sound kind of giving death metal this stock kind of sound where everything was over polished which also helped the second wave Scandinavian black metal movement also helped Infester make something completely out of left field in the death metal community for its time period because this is seriously unpolished filthy in the best way fucking possible like the artwork alone kind of sums up just how awesome this fucking release is. Kind of reminds me of like the torture chamber. I mean, not torture chamber. The torture rack artwork, which is sick. And uh, I tip my hat to torture chamber. And I can't wait for that LP to arrive. But speaking of just artwork, it just really reminds me of this, like with like the lava or the sea of blood I'm not real sure what it is but it's fucking evil and awesome and just the way that everything's drawn it just reminds me of the artwork and I, it might even be the same artist I'm not sure but the art direction on here is fucking sick like just really really slimy evil fucking hellscapes I love that type of stuff because, whoa, 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 atmospheric death metal that's brutal as fuck and evil, yeah, this has parts that are straight up black metal. Like seriously, you'll be squeezing invisible grapefruits, it sounds so fucking evil, but the riffs and the inhuman vocal delivery along with some kick-ass drumming and those fucking keyboards make this something that's kind of one of a kind. I can't think of too many bands that kick ass as much as Infester do. And uh, I am not sure which is the original logo and which is just, you know, the updated logo. I really do like the old English font, but I like this as well, the regular font. It's sick having two copies of this is all I know. On tape. It sounds insane, but on LP format, this is the way to listen to Infester. It just, it, you can just hear everything. And on a record like this, that's the most important thing about it. Because throughout these 10 tracks, clocking in around 53 minutes, I think, it's just probably the sickest part of this album is 
just the sonic trip to Hades that the slab of vicious fucking death metal and hatred bring you to is just chock full of this atmosphere that is just as sinister as it fucking gets. And I know I sound like a broken record while, while saying that, but I don't know how else to describe how actually fucking nuts this album sounds. Like, seriously. To get into Infester, you need the first to listen to Infester. And to the depths and degradation, from the title track, Chamber of Reunion, Brad and the Palsy, oh my god, just amazing stuff. The outro on here is so goddamn good. Clouding of Consciousness, these dudes are dropping some heavy psychedelics while making this album. Like, I was reading uh, the liner notes, yeah, uh, and also like Jason Oliver's vocals. I just have to throw them out there and throw Jason's name out there. Probably some of the most gnarly vocals in death metal. And speaking of which, no more Frank Mullen in suffocation. But anyways, this was a, yeah, an awesome time period for these guys according to uh, the liner notes. I look back finally at the time when we wrote and recorded to the depths and degradation. Todd, Jason, and I were quite young, 15, 16, and 17 years old. We were spending a lot of time hanging out, listening to music, drinking, smoking weed 24-7, and expanding our mind with psychedelics. We were also obsessed with rehearsing three to four times a week. You hear that? Now, if you have a band out there, seriously, practice at least three times a week, and Especially if you're going into the studio, then start doing it as much as possible. But they just booked four to five days at the Electric Eel studio where they had recorded their first demo and all the tracks were captured on an old analog Tascam one inch fucking tape reel. They used Marshall and Mesa Boogie amps and I played on Jason's Tama Rockstar kit. We told our engineer we wanted an organic sound because we didn't want to sound like all the overproduced death metal that was out there at the time. He literally ended up not compromising any instrument. Many mistakes were also kept due to lack of time budget but were able to include finishing touches like keyboards and effects that turned out to be some of my favorite parts of the album. Odin Thompson connected with us, Chris Campbell, for the artwork. It turned out to be a perfect reflecting the atmosphere of the songs better than we could imagine at the time. Hell yeah. And they fucking did. Like I said, just look at that fucking cover art. It's amazing. Like, seriously. It just goes to show you how sinister the tunes within really fucking are and this release through Martyr Doom Productions is just a fucking 10 out of 10. This is seriously such a brutal malicious record. I can't get over how fucking evil and sick it is. Pick it up on tape through Head Split, on vinyl through Martyr Doom and the distros that have this right now that I know of are 20 bucks spin and Dark Descent Records. It was originally released in 1994 on Warbond Records, and trust me, this is filthy, evil, crushing death metal. And like I said, this is not National Socialist. Just ask their drummer, Dario. That's all I have to say. Get into some Infester, check out the cassette on Head Split, vinyl on Martyr Doom. And we have been blasting the ever so crushing Temple of Void, Lords of Death on Hell's Headbangers, and Shadow Kingdom Records. Awesome, awesome, crushing death metal. And yeah, keep it fucking death, keep it brutal, and thanks for watching. As always, you guys fucking rule. Hells! Ugh.